Hey guys, today I thought I would do something a little different, change up my filming equipment and actually audio. <laughs> I'm using my camera's audio and just do a quick video talking about some of my clothing purchases from the last, I don't know, like six months. Nothing too in depth, but just like going over them, the pros, the cons, what I like about them, what I don't like about them, what I'm getting rid of. Most of these are like sustainability minded purchases. Um, whether that's true, no one knows. But uh, yeah, that's that's the kind of places. So let's get into it. All right, folks, here I have a very large mirror to best capture all the clothes. We're going to start off with this top. This is from Arc. It's technically a crop top, but honestly, it works like a bra. I have what, like in a C cup, like on the small range of a C cup. And when I wear this, I don't have to wear a bra at all. It, it's, it's thick enough where it does not give me much nip. Like when I first put it on, it gives nipplage. But like after five minutes when the nipplage calms down, uh, it's perfectly fine. And I can go outside just wearing only this. I love that about this. I love that it can be worn as just like a casual bra, but also a top. I'm someone who walks around in their bra all the time at home. So the fact that I could just put this on and have that nice, really sort of crop cut, uh, the spaghetti straps that are great for summer, that I can just throw this on at home. And then if I need to go out, go out in it and not have any nipplage, that's great. <laughs> um, it's really well constructed. I, d I just love the feel of it. So yeah, this is a big love. I think it's $36. I want to buy more. I have two. I want to buy more from them, maybe in different colors because they do come out with fun seasonal colors. Right now they're in like sort of a bright phase. I'm not really feeling that. When they go back to making more earth tones, I'll probably revisit. The next thing would be these from Big Butt Press. These are their joggers and I too very much enjoy them. Uh, they're high-waisted of course, so here's my belly button. They come over that. Another great feature is the pockets. Not only do they have pockets, but their pockets are like situated in front rather than on the side so that when you sit down, I, f I find that it just like holds things better. Also, super deep. Like I literally yesterday, I fitted a Kindle into these pockets. Another great feature is the ankle. And you'll have to excuse my toe. I broke it and lost the toenail like six months ago. But the ankle has this sort of really high sort of not padding but it sort of just cinches in right there and just gives a nice little silhouette one great thing about it is that it's not super tight i had some joggers from aritzia that also sort of cinched in not in this way not with how long it is but they cinched in super tight like i would wake up at night with them feeling it cut off my circulation but these just gently hug it. They're not loose, they just like perfectly hug my sort of ankle calf area. So I'm a big fan of these. One thing you have to notice right now is that they are covered in cat hair, so that is one flaw. I also have the short design from them. It's like the same thing, but you know, shorts. Uh, so you have that really wide front pocket, my lord. Yeah, it's like the same size um, and all that. Got the cute little uh, sun thing right here. I'm not crazy about shorts, but I do like these. One thing is it is kind of, it is fairly sort of ruched <laughs> up top. Like it definitely sort of cinches you in. Not too bad, especially as like you wear it more, it's not too bad, but but yeah, wow. Oof, my legs, geez. Like these, they're better for summer days, um, but they're not super thin. So if you're, looking at these thinking like these will be super lightweight they're not they're more of a mid-weight they're the same sort of weight as the joggers they're just in short form and i imagine that won't be too problematic for most weathers but for most climates i should say but don't go into these thinking that like they're super thin and it actually is kind of a heavy-ish material the last thing i have from these guys is their crop tops right here and i actually have two of them well, not anymore, but I have this one in, I think it was play red, something like that. And then I also had olive green. Olive green is packed up right now to be shipped. I just need to print out the label. This one I'm also selling. 
I like these a lot. Like, honestly, I mean, it's a boxy cut, but it, it looks like attractive. And the material's cool. Maybe I should turn this, well, maybe I can just get closer. As you can see, it's like this cool little knitted material they got going on, like ribbed almost. Uh, and that's cool. It adds like this nice, interesting texture. But I just find that these are too heavy. <laughs> they're good for summer, but I just find that they're too heavy. Also, I'm not really big on short sleeves. I think I would like these way more if it was a long sleeve crop. But because of the fact that, you know, I'm not really big on sleeves like that, like tea sleeves, as well as the fact that it's kind of just like a heavy fabric to wear in the summer. I just always end up going for something, something else. Generally, I just find it too heavy for summer, which is when I would wear these. I did also want to give a brief mention to these guys. These are the Harvest and Mill joggers. And now that I found the Big Bud Press ones, which I bought after I bought these, I've decided to get rid of these mostly because they're just short. <laughs> like they're like capri joggers on me. I guess the model that they use is maybe five foot three that they have selling these. I just don't like how it sort of comes up mid, mid calf. And yeah, it does have that shorter little bit down here. And honestly, I just really like the length of that big butt uh, calf bit that they have down there. So yeah, they're not bad at all. Uh, they have their pocket that's more of like sort of a normal po pocket like you would expect. It goes deep, as you can see, but it, it's a little slit in the side rather coming down from the top. And I also just found that I like the, the top pocket more from Big Bud Press. So these aren't bad at all. Maybe a better option for uh, petites. But for me, as someone who's five foot seven, just... I found ones I like more. Now this right here is a crop top that I have from Cotton. And I found that I actually genuinely liked a lot of Cotton stuff. Nothing I've bought from them has failed me, uh, including this one. This is like a lightweight Cotton. It's not like super thin or flowy, but it does like have some like air and lift to it. Uh, and it's long sleeve, which, you know, I really like. Uh, this I found is just like a good summer piece for me protects from the sun because it's long sleeve. It's not, I mean, it could be a higher neck, uh, but I don't mind where it's at right now. And just, you know, the cotton is opaque, but it's thin and, and airy enough for summer. So I really like it. Hits right, hits right where it should, in my opinion. Now this one is a bit mean, it's a bit deceptive. The brand that sells the shirt does not sell it like this. This is the Ari crop top from Lucine Yak, uh, and it's wonderful. I this is like the sort of sleeve. If it's gonna be a sleeve, I want it to be a sleeve like a sleeve like this, where it sort of goes up in a way, and also it has like a cute little uh, ruffle, little detailing. Uh, it has the same on the bottom. Uh, lettuce. It's a, it's a lettuce hem, I think is what it's called. This I bought in the color black, and I just sprayed it with some bleach. <laughs> And I got and I got this out of it. I actually also have a just a normal black one, but I actually find that I wear this one a lot more than I wear the black one. I don't know what to feel about that, but I love how it fits. It's it's close to the body, it sort of holds in the tatas really well, and yeah, it just for me it just fits me really well. So I I do like wearing it. Continuing on with Lucy and Yak. This, I believe, is their Atlas dungaree, and it's so, it's their thicker style. I also have their Umi, but I think I'm going to get rid of it. Maybe this one, too. Uh, the Umi is very similar to this. It's just made of a thinner fabric that's more suitable for summer, for hot weather. This is a, definitely a thicker material. This I like a lot. I mean, I just like the look of these a lot, but I do have a major complaint with Lucy and Yak's general just design for these, which is the fact that they come up <laughs> so high. <laughs> like they're so short. And the crazy part is I have the long version. <laughs> this this is uh, the 8L, they're size eight long. And you can see it's still, I mean, this isn't even rolled. So if I were to roll it, it would come up way higher. 
I'm just, that's just something that really surprises me about them. I don't know if they just have a lot of, or, uh, if they found that most of their consumer base was short. <laughs> that's something that always bothers me about this. And thankfully I pretty much always wear it with black leggings. So everything just kind of melds in together. But um, yeah, I, I wish they would make these longer so I could roll them up and look cute and not look sort of cut off at my feet. <laughs> uh, beyond that, they're great. I mean, I wear these to work all the time. I just shove cards into here because I have to use a lot of like cards at work. Shove a phone into here. I mean, there's just, it's just a lot of room to work around. Um, but with this design, not the best for summer just because it's made out of a thicker fabric. If you want this, but you know, lighter, get, get the umis. Before I get out of here, I just wanna talk about my stuff from Jonesy, some stuff that they sent to me, some stuff that I bought secondhand and off their website. This is one of the things that they sent me. This is the sporty bra in Cherry Bomb and also the high cut undie. I wanna believe that's what it's called in the same color. This underwear, Definitely way more up my alley than the last pair, uh, which I also love, but I just like that this one actually is high cut, sort of goes over, goes over the hip like this. Uh, and the color is just wonderful. These bras are equally wonderful. Something you have to keep in mind with the bra, I am, I don't know, like a C, C30, 34C, something like that. Uh, we do get nippledge. And also this, doesn't look the best under tight shirts. It's like you can sort of see this thick part right here. These aren't super supportive. So be aware of that. Like they don't hide nippledge that well and they aren't super supportive. They show like a lot of large sizes wearing these. Um, I can't imagine how that would be very comfortable because these really aren't that supportive. But if you're someone who's small chested, um, and you don't mind a bit of nippledge popping through. It's a great little everyday bra. And like I said, I really just, I really enjoy the color. This is the same situation, but in the shade turmeric. Uh, one thing I didn't mention before is that the sort of lining right here, I want to say, if I remember correctly off their website, that they get their little um, lining bits from Japan. I don't know, maybe they make the fancy stuff, like the high quality stuff. I think that's what's claimed on the website. It's not like super silky or soft, but it's not like super like noticeable either. Like I don't really notice it, to be honest. I also like this color. Turmeric is actually a really good name for it because it does look like, it does look like that. All right, I got gamer girl realness going on right here. Uh, this is also another thing they sent me. This is in the shade Celery, just like the other two panties that I've shown today. And this is the same kind of bralette, but I bought this off Mercari. It's in the shade, in the shade Cielo, I want to say is what it's called. One thing I love about doing these is just that they have like the match, the matching colors for both top and bottom. But I actually really love this combination. I, I just, I feel like it looks awesome. <laughs> yeah, just the mix of green and blue. Gamer girl aesthetic realness. Cool, so now we're getting into the bras that I actually bought myself from their website. This is the Scoop Bralette. It provides a little more, just a slightly bit more coverage than the other bra, but not a crazy amount more. One complaint. <laughs> I have about these is the strap. I think either they need to go like a size down because I have either the smaller, the, the smallest size that they have, which I want to say is an extra small, or they need to better design this so that this sort of doesn't get loose throughout the day because it does get loose throughout the day and it sort of just sort of hangs off like this, which I actually find to be kind of a common problem with this design bralette. I don't, I don't know what's going on right over here and right over here, but it always just seems to sag. Also, this sort of falls off my shoulder as it gets more wear on it throughout the day. I don't know if they need to make a smaller size. I don't know if they need to like design it slightly differently. 
um, but that is one issue that I have with a bra. It, it is also one that sort of gets seen when you're wearing other clothing on top of it, just because this bit is kind of thick. But beyond that, it's great bra. <laughs> beyond that, it's very lovely. I like the color. I will say I do have it in the same color as one of my underwear. I am fairly confident that these are advertised as the same shade. I think this is Wisteria and this is also Wisteria, but as you can see, kind of different. <laughs> so yeah, not the best match. Kind of awkward if you were hoping to have a matchy matchy, but you know, it's whatever. So this is the Scoop Bralette in Wisteria. This is the same bralette in Neo Mint. And yeah, you can definitely see like nippage coming out. Mm. And lastly, in Lapis Lazuli. So yeah, if you want a difference between color, so this is Cielo and this is Lapis Lazuli. I do prefer the previous bralette. I do prefer the sporties over this one, if only because of that sagging issue that we get right here. But I also think it just like sort of suits me better. I, you know, I bought these knowing like, I'm not the biggest fan of scoop necks. I actually really like the high neck. Um, and hell, even if this had gone down a little bit, like an inch or so, that, that would have been cute too. But the colors were just so, were just so enticing. I had to get them. So yeah, I reckon that's it. All right, guys, that's the end of the video. If you have any questions about some of the stuff I just showcased and mentioned, definitely just like shoot it to me in the comment section. I'll reply to it because I do have, you know, thoughts, more thoughts. And I hope the the new format was okay. I'm actually going to be doing a lot more of this style. I just sold my camera. So yeah, we're moving to the phone camera and a GoPro. And I think I'll make a video talking about that fairly soon. Um, yeah, see you guys next video. Bye.